What is going on, SHA Army? We're back for the final 30 second Thursday review. This is another TV show that Netflix just put out. I also did Punisher season two, but I really wanted to do Baki as well because it's new, it's fresh. I have not read the manga for Baki, but I'm going to be talking about the show because I'm getting more and more into anime. I just finished Super as well. I've always loved DBZ. We have a ton of character workouts on the site for them. So I already have Baki's workout on the site. I'll link that below, but I want to do the review really quick. I also have an Academy member score for it, which I was actually pretty surprised surprised about because I thought it just came out and nobody was going to be caught up with how fast I binge watch shows but I do so let's get into it thank you Chris I'll tell you mine and his score at the end in three two one go so I really like Dragon Ball Z I like Attack on Titan I like My Hero Academia I like One Piece and there's a couple other animes that I really like but for me the Baki artwork it just wasn't for me it was a little over the top and gory and stuff like that when I say over the top I'm specifically referring to like the gore and the artwork I know Dragon Ball Z is obviously over the top and basically every anime is over the top when it comes to ridiculousness whether they're real or not so that's not what I'm talking about I really really like the mixed martial arts anime so it obviously had that going for it and when I first started I didn't really like it I thought I wasn't gonna like it and then I stayed around for like three episodes and then it got amazing one complaint that I had was the fact we didn't really see Baki that much like we saw him but we didn't see him fight enough and the one thing that I really really liked is that the villains kind of controlled the show so like the five main villains you see two of them for like a vast portion of the episodes you see them fight way more than you see Baki you see them take on multiple characters it's the same way people like the Dark Knight trilogy where the villains really shine the villains shine in this one so I'm actually ranking it an 8 out of 10 Chris in the Academy gives it 7 out of 10. He didn't really like the CGI to animation. And there's a couple other things he had a bone to pick with. We both did realize that they're really setting up for a season 2. They left that door clear as day open. So th I think that's coming. He thinks that's coming. He's not sure if it's going to be something that he's anticipating or sticking around for. But I think I definitely am. 8 out of 10 is pretty good. I rank Punisher 9.5 out of 10. So I definitely recommend it. I really liked some of the training things that they put in. How strong the characters are. The mixed martial arts portion of it. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know if you guys have seen it. Any comments you have for it. Smash the thumbs up button and I'll talk to you later. Uh, hey guys, I love pepperoni and if you subscribe to the channel, like the videos and check out the links below, I'll get to eat more pepperoni like because I'm a puppy and I love <laughs> and I love I love pepperoni. Please. Please, get me more pepperoni. I just made it. Oh, yes. Pepperoni's so good. Please subscribe and like.